it's exactly the way you want it. All right guys, so last time you saw in the video, we had went over, picked up some parts. Here's one of the fenders behind me here, and we also have the wing spray. Now, on the spoiler, this thing messed up on me guys, so I had to come back in and blend this thing and buff it all back out. So this has not been the easiest task. But what we're gonna do today is get the other fender out, we're gonna lay all of our parts out, we're gonna look at what we got, and we're going to start on the car today. So we're gonna take these fenders off, and I have an issue that I need to show you guys. Right here, uh, the rocker panel has been hit. So it's actually pushed up too tight against the door to be able to slip the ground effects kit in. So I gotta get in there with a BFH and knock this down a little bit and hopefully I'll be able to slide that side skirt in. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So here are our parts. We have one new fender and one used fender. So once I got over to Roger's we started looking around and we could never find that second fender so he had another one so we're just going to use it or try to use it if it doesn't work out then i'll just order a new one no big deal and look at this guys look what we have back here a new interior piece since i decided to set fire to the one i had remember guys we're going to re-dye everything so that should look good over here we just have our bumpers for the front and rear these will not work on the cobra bumper so we have to take those off no big deal we also have brand new fog lights that john the guy i got this car from with the 1k fox gave me so we got brand new fog lights to go in this thing so like i said we got a pretty good bit of parts to to really get started on this but for right now let's go ahead and open up this fender and make sure it's not all dented to hell and back i sure hope not all right guys we are looking good so far from what i can tell this thing fared really well so all right let's go ahead and start installing these fenders i am going to go ahead and install this one over here whether we use it or not but i need it for mock-up purposes so we'll go ahead and get started on that Okay, so we have the fender up here, but what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and try to bolt everything up and make it tight. So you see how easy it is to take these fenders on and off. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up. We'll pick back up once I get some of this stuff bolted up and secured better. I got a feeling we're gonna need a new door. Uh, something's going on here. It doesn't, I can't tell if it's the rocker panel that's pushed in or if it's the door that just has so much Bondo that it's sticking out. So uh, either way, it's probably not something we wanna deal with um, so I may have to get a new door and while the door is off flatten out this rocker panel here to be completely honest with you Those are the things that You really don't want to deal with because you need to move forward on a project like this So that means the doors got to come off and you know We have to possibly find a new door figure out what's going on the door may be okay But the rocker panel looks like it, it is absolutely jacked up So the only way to really get to that thing is to take the door off and try to kind of knock the whole thing down flat again i'm not a body man when it comes to stuff like that so i can probably figure it out but it's not gonna be easy let's go over here and look at the driver's side and just kind of compare it yeah see that's the way it's supposed to look the door here does kind of stick out ever so slightly but you know that doesn't seem to really be a big issue i can probably fix that all right guys i'll get back to you as soon as i have some more progress to show so we're gonna go ahead and take this door off guys uh it needs to come off so that we can really get down here and see what's going on with this so in case you guys were wondering where the wires are located they're actually behind the dash so all you have to do here is pull back and you can expose that tab if you don't know Just pull back like that do the same thing on the other side and that will allow your glove box to fall. Your connectors are gonna be up here. You simply disconnect those, fold everything up, and this is your harness. So this is what you're gonna be looking for. There's gonna be three different plugs on it. You just wanna make sure that that's loose. And then when you unbolt the door, you can slide it off. Let's talk real quick about these doors because they're really heavy and they're hard to work with by yourself. It's not that you can't probably pick the door by yourself. It's just really awkward once you're trying to unbolt everything and all the weight comes down. So the best way to really handle this is like two jacks 
or at least like have a friend to help you but i don't have anybody over today so what we're going to do is just put a jack under this and then put a jack stand on the other side at that point once you unbolt everything you can just pick the door up yourself okay so now that you have your fender off you can go ahead and take these off best thing to do Go ahead and get your wires pulled through like this. That way the door is essentially free once you take these six bolts out. And see guys, this is what I was talking about with your small tool set. We're gonna be able to do this whole job with this nice little tool set sitting right here. All I'm doing now is just taking off two of the bolts and I will leave the third one for after we get the jack stand. Okay guys, so that is our setup. Now be aware that this is not the most secure thing in the world. That door could slip off the jack, but for the most part, you just wanna kinda take the bolt, last bolt out and just let the door rest, then just come up behind it and pick it up. All right guys, that is it. That's all you have to do. This would also be a good time while we have the door off to come back here and sand everything. So I'm probably gonna come in here with my little flat wheel with some 50 grit and just kind of smooth all this out uh, and make it pretty and then we'll sand it and uh, shoot some base on it. Probably won't clear this portion. I don't know yet, we'll see. But um, hopefully this works guys and we can get this body kit on the car. I know it looks like crap right now, but I'll sand it all down and make it look a lot better. So sometimes you have to do what you have to do guys. This is what we're left with uh, some pretty big craters here um, so like i said we'll put a very light skim coat in we'll go in and you have to scratch this up too so so the paint in there has to be sanded too or either completely removed for this bondo to stick uh, i'll actually probably use fiber fill on this just to make it good but i'm going to go ahead work with this for a few minutes and i'll get back to you guys and by the way we have wet sanded and buffed out the spoiler looks really good so I actually had to blend this corner last night because I chipped it. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. Let's just kind of recap here. And let me tell you exactly what it is that I have done so far and what it is that I was having issues with. So as you can see, we have the fender on the car. Nothing is bolted up yet. It's just all kind of sitting up here. The gaps are looking pretty good for the most part. I'm okay with that. Problem is the bottom of the rocker panel where the these cicada are ridiculous guys that's what you're hearing that's why it sounds like static just so you know so the issue that we're having is the rocker panel down where the fender bolts to it's kind of pushed up a little bit so i'm just going to tweak on that pull it down a little bit do some adjusting on it and we should be good to go on that everything's lining up pretty good though i really can't complain guys i mean the body lines are really close the door is back on the car but it's not on permanently what i'm trying to do is create enough gap problem I was having was right here I didn't have enough gap so uh, now we have a perfect amount of gap the the body kit sits up in here great but as you can see now we have a slight issue with the door so the door bulges out right here and then kind of sinks in back there all right guys let me interject here real quick so I accidentally cut the camera off so how I fixed the rocker panel was I just took that two by four that you saw 
laid it on top of the rocker panel, hit it with like a three pound sledgehammer and everything's good to go. So we're flat now. Later on in the video, I'm going to come back, put some filler in everything, smooth it all out. We're going to shoot some base coat on it. I will go ahead and let you guys know that it has worked out great. So the body kit does fit, but I don't know if we'll get to that in this video or not. All right, guys, let's get back to it. I may have to like go back over to Rogers and see if if I can just get another door. Um, I'm gonna work with this door. I'm gonna take it back off and see if I can't flatten it out. Maybe they just put too much Bondo on the bottom of the door, I'm not sure. But I'll see what I can do with it. Hopefully, next time you see the car, we'll have it in the garage on jack stands with the wheels off. That way we can really kind of straighten everything out. So it's going a little slower than I thought it would, but that's okay. It will pick up here pretty soon once we get this thing in here and we get all of these panel adjustment issues out of the way. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video for today. But as always, thanks for watching. Thank